you know, one of the things that is not taught in history books is the fact that Roman Catholicism is just simply repackaged paganism. That's all it is. Roman Catholicism is just pagan Greco-Roman religion repackaged, just like Islam is pagan Arabian religion repackaged, and, you know, all the other wonderful stuff about Islam, obviously being sarcastic, but um, basically Roman Catholicism uh, is just simply pagan Greek-Roman religion repackaged. That's why a lot of their churches are modeled after pagan Greek temples and pagan Roman temples. And uh, basically what happened was is that the Roman Empire uh, basically turned into a religious empire to where now the Caesar became the Pope, the statue of Jupiter became Saint Peter. Uh, how did it go? I think it was, um, I think I remember reading this somewhere, the statue of Jupiter became Saint Peter. You know, I think Venus, she became the Virgin Mary. And uh, God the Father became, or sorry, Zeus became God the Father. And all the other gods became the saints. And that's why the Vatican is pretty much modeled after a pagan Roman temple because they just simply took pagan Roman gods and made them into the saints and Virgin Mary and St. Peter and all this other stuff. Roman Catholicism is not the faith once delivered unto the saints. It's a pagan Babylonian uh, Greco-Roman religion repackaged. That's all it is. And they despise the word of God too. Roman Catholics don't believe the Bible. They believe their papal pagan traditions. So, Roman Catholicism is satanic, it is pagan, and it is condemned in Revelation 17 and Revelation 18, as well as other, other places too. It is just pagan, Greco-Roman religion repackaged. It is not Bible-believing Christianity, because they don't believe the Bible. They believe their man-made papal traditions. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.